In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Cold Flame Tempest mount in patch 11.0.5. In order to get this mount, you need to complete the achievement A Cool 20 Years, which is a collection of eight other achievements that aren't actually too difficult to do. In this video, I'm going to go through them with you. So if you make your way to the Caverns of Time where the event is hosted, you can actually go to the Meeting Stone at the top here and you'll see there's balloons. And if you just click a balloon and ride the balloon, you will have to ride it until it gets to around Boss the Tent and you'll see you'll get the Balloonist achievement. And that's one of them. On the opposite side of the tent where you dropped off from the balloon, you can go down the stairs over here and find a pet lady with pet green and also a chest next to her. Inside this chest, you will find the pet mirror. Now, in order to use this, you will have to summon a companion pet. So we'll just go to our warband collections. We'll go to our pet journal. We'll just go summon the little KT or something. We'll go summon this one. Now that we have our pet next to us, you click the pet and then you click and use the pet mirror and this will turn you into your pet and you'll get the pet mischief achievement. So I am now, I'm now little Katie. If you go just south of the tent, you'll be able to find an NPC over here who's going to have quests. This is the world boss guide. He's going to give you quests for PvP as well as for doing the world bosses, Doomwalker, Shah of Anger and Archivon the Stone Watcher. If you open up your map, you'll find them marked over here, Archivon, Shah of Anger, and Doomwalker, all within the region of the Caverns of Time. Now, the best way to find groups for dealing with these world bosses is by going to your group finder, going to pre-made groups, going to custom, and clicking find a group, and then type the name of the, the boss. So this is Doomwalker. I'm just going to type Doom, hit search again, and boom, groups all over the place. We can go ahead. That one looks like it's ending. So we'll go and join this one that looks like it's starting. You can see here we are already taking this guy on. And there we go. We defeated it, and you get the achievement, a gate crasher. You should note that if you do get loot from these guys, they drop 590 veteran gear. Now there is another achievement for doing another world boss, but they are not within this region. If we actually zoom out further, you'll see in Kalimdor, you can find Yasondra and also Azurgos at the top right. If you head over to the Eastern Kingdoms, you can also find Lord Kazak. And then you just go ahead and destroy the boss and you'll get an achievement for an original, which is going to be the one of the ones that you require. If you go to the northern side of the tent, you'll find Chromie who can give you a quest, which you should accept first before we do our next one. This is to complete the Codex of Chromie event. So accept the quest and then open up your group finder and you can search for the Codex of Chromie. And we're going to go ahead and queue for this. This is for our next achievement. Once you finish the Codex of Chromie, you will get the achievement called Codex Editor. During one of the events, Fashion Frenzy, where you do the transmog competition, you can go ahead and pick a ribbon off of this table over here and you have to cast a vote to vote for the best transmog. So pick the person who has the best transmog and throw a ribbon at them. And when you do so, you will get the Fashion Critic achievement, which is going to count to the award. For the next achievement, you have to match one of the mounts in Mount Mania. So the lady on the stage will don different mounts and you'll see the name will be shown on screen and you just have to go in your mount journal and type the name to see if you have the mount. Every couple of seconds, I think every 10 seconds or so, the person will change mounts and you just have to see if you have that mount. Eventually it does do ones that that most people could have, but some cases they're, they're quite difficult. Like you can see here, this one is one that I have. Once you do find one, you get the achievement for I have that one and that's all you need to do for the achievement. You just have to match one of them. The final one, Peanut Gallery, is the hardest achievement to get because it's going to take a little bit of time and luck, I guess, as well. This is one where you have to react to Lorewalker Cho's stories 50 times and you can only do this when the event story time is active and every time something specific happens in the event that gives you a button on screen to press to react. And of course having to do that 50 times means that you're going to have to do this multiple times. You should note that the story time event happens every hour on the hour as well as every half hour because the active events actually rotate every 15 minutes. That means you will get story time either uh, Fashion Frenzy or the Mount Mania, and then story time again, and you just have to keep pressing the reaction buttons you'll see on the screen. Mine's at the bottom left. Yours might be in a different area of your screen, depending on how you laid out your, you know, your UI. There are some that let you react by throwing multiple apples and just like, you know, spamming the button so you can get a few in here. You just keep spamming it as much as you can. Ultimately, I think you're going to have to watch at least four stories to get all of the 50 reactions. Once you do have enough reactions, you would get the achievement for Peanut Gallery. And if that's your final one, you will get the A Cool 20 Years achievement along with the mount. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.